Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Training Channel. In this video, I will show you how to model two-dimensional reaction flow with a parametric study using COMSOL. In this example, we want to model fluid flow with mass transfer, where the mass transfer involves a first-order reaction. We start with the model and select 2D because our domain is two-dimensional. Here, we consider the transport of a dilute species because the solute concentration compared to the solvent is very low. The solvent is air. We also select laminar flow for modeling flow. This example is steady state, so we select a stationary solver for both mass transfer and fluid flow. Here, we create the 2D domain of the model. The dimensions are in CM, so we select centimeter. The width of the domain is 2 centimeters, and the height is 0.5 centimeters. Now we select air as the fluid flow, because our solvent is air. Additionally, we do not need to define the solute because the concentration compared to air is low, and we can use air properties for all calculations. Now we go to the transport of dilute species, and define boundary conditions such as inflow and outflow. The concentration of the solute at the inlet is 1. We also select the outflow boundary condition, which does not need to be defined because its gradient is 0. Next, we define the reaction. The reaction is first order, and we need to define the reaction constant. However, we can insert it directly in this section, but it is better to define it in the parameter section. Also, we define the inlet velocity in the parameter section because we can change it in the study. Now we go to laminar flow and define inlet and outlet boundary conditions. The inlet velocity is defined as UI in the parameter section. In this section, we need to check mesh independence analysis to ensure the mesh has minimal effect on the results. So we define a map mesh and the number of horizontal and vertical elements. Also, we define a boundary layer to capture the gradient velocity and concentration near the walls. Now we go to stationary and compute the model. You can see that the concentration only at the inlet is 1. This means the mass transfer is not coupled to fluid flow. So we go back to the transport of dilute species and select laminar velocity as the convection term of mass transfer. Now we run again. According to the concentration distribution, it is clear that near the wall, the concentration of solute decreases because in this section, convection is low due to the no-slip condition of fluid flow. However, we use the average outlet concentration for investigating mesh independence. Firstly, we increase the vertical mesh by two times, then run the model and check the concentration. Here you see that the variation in concentration is not significant, so the previous vertical mesh is okay. Now we increase the horizontal mesh two times and check the result. The results do not change significantly, so we use the previous number of elements. Now the model is mesh independent, 
and we can analyze the results. First, we check the effect of inlet velocity on outlet concentration using a parametric study. The result shows that as the inlet velocity increases, the outlet concentration increases, of course, because with increasing inlet velocity, convection increases and the time of reaction for the solute decreases. Now we check the effect of the reaction constant. With increasing reaction constant, the outlet concentration decreases because by increasing the reaction constant, the reaction rate increases. Now we have both effects on one plot. Thank you for watching this video. For support, please subscribe and like the video.